look, uh, I, I'm fortunate enough to know uh, Steve from, from being at Leicester, so I knew that he's an extremely brilliant coach, uh, extremely thorough, as is Kevin Sinfield, and hugely motivational. So uh, we've spent a huge, huge amount of time in, in terms of uh, seeking that clarity and making sure that our fundamentals of our games are, are really strong. So boys are coming th full of energy, enthusiasm, and it's been a great couple of days. It's not a squad in transition, it's a squad that's uh, seeking clarity and going to build on every game and every performance and every day we come in we get better uh, and we keep nailing those fundamentals of how we want to play and, and sharpening that clarity. So uh, I think the, the most important thing is everything's geared around Scotland and uh, once we've done that we, we build again towards the next one but right now um, we've got a short period leading into Scotland and uh, training is, is absolutely paramount. So everything we time we take the field, we are working towards making sure that we are ready to perform in a week's time. The main differences are, uh, I suppose it's hard to, to narrow one, you know, there's a, there's a good, good fair few. Um, you know, Steve is, uh, the main thing that Steve has brought in straight away is making sure that we're all aligned to how we want to play and what we want to do and, and putting his spin on it. Um, I think when you come in with a new coach, it's a blank canvas. So everything that's gone before, it's irrelevant because um, it's, his, it's his way of playing, it's his ideas, it's Kev's ideas, it's obviously Nick Evans and, and Cocker's as well. So uh, we've got a huge amount of experience within that coaching staff and it's about making sure that we uh, utilise um, the, 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 the training and making sure that everything we do is geared around performing and those guys, uh, those coaches will give us that clarity and everything that we need. Uh, yeah, uh, I think whenever you get selected, you're straight away... All you've done is get your foot in the door and then it's about competing again. Uh, you've got Alex Mitchell, uh, JVP, obviously a teammate of mine. So um, three, three nines all competing to, uh, to, to, to get into the 23s. So it's great, you know, in terms of that. You want competition and we've got that in absolute abundance in all the positions. But also it's about working together. It's about all of us coming together and making sure that we are constantly pushing each other so that England ultimately improves. Uh, so for myself, you know, I'm really proud to be, to be selected within the squad. I've had four different England coaches and uh, been picked by uh, all four of them. So uh, that, that's, a, that's, that's something I'm very, very proud of. And, you know, one thing I want to do now is, 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 as I've always do when I come in here, is add and make a difference and do whatever I can to improve as a player, but also help this England team. Yeah, I think there's, there's going to be a bit more clarity coming out, I believe. Um, you know, I, I take my son to mini rugby on a Sunday. I think it's really important that we, we keep these kids engaged and everything like that. Of course, we want them safe. Absolutely, goes without saying. But I think a bit more clarity, not only for the kids, but for the coaches, for the for the community. You know, people that give up their Sundays to referee these games. You know, and they you don't want to be putting kids off if they're being sent off all the time because they're gone a bit above the way. So, I believe for, for me, I believe it should be the peck and below, um, and that's a lot more achievable and consistent uh, message for these children. You know, to to be able to hit around the, the belly button. You know, just below the pecs as well. And if we get that right, then I think that the game will, will naturally be safer, tidy it up a little bit, and it'll give the clarity for all those people that go out on a Sunday and help the community game um, so that they're not feeling uh, unsure or, or not confident within what it is, and they feel like they can be able to coach and help these youngsters and not put them off because they're, they're not comfortable with either going that low or they're not comfortable because uh, they go a little bit high all the time and uh, keep getting sent to the sidelines, and then before you know it, they don't want to play rugby anymore, and that's the last thing we want. <laughs> Let's just get let's get let's get this to let's get today done. Let's get tomorrow, and then we just build from there. Look, I've never I've never changed my approach. Um, you know, I am a, a week by week man in terms of of when you're in camp. It's about making sure that you are doing everything you can to get better and, and help the team. And uh, you know, everything's geared around. You know, we've got a big session again tomorrow, and then we've got the weekend free. So uh, I'll make sure that I'm on the field tomorrow doing what I can, and we keep building. Um, you know, I'm really proud of what I've done. Do I think there's more to come? Absolutely. Do I want to be a part of it? Absolutely. Uh, but the most important thing is uh, recover today and, and get ready for tomorrow.